What's up everybody, Shooter McGaming here for another tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how to install the AppyBot to your Discord server. What's the AppyBot? It's a bot that allows you to create interactive applications for your players to use, whether they're applying for a VD job to an EMS job, business license, whatever kind of application you need them to fill out. This will have you covered. So let's not wait. Let's get right into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set up a place for your applications to go, right? So I have an applications category. I'm just going to create a channel applications. Okay. So that's all set up. You can set yours up however you want. You'll kind of get a, an idea of how you can do that once we get going. Let's jump back over to Appy and get into the dashboard. So when you're all set up, you're going to see your dashboard here. You're going to want to invite your bot to your server. Okay, I've already done that here with the horizon. So we're going to go ahead and click, click configure after you've invited it. Okay, once you do that, you'll see your dashboard. You've got your, your uh, submissions, accepted, pending, denied. Nice visuals on some graphs here, if that's your thing. But what we want to do is want to go over to the left menu here and see where it says applications. We want to click on applications. Okay, now I've already got a couple here. We're going to do uh, a new one here. So we're going to do a business application. Okay, so once we've got that done, we type the name in there, click new. It's going to pop up a screen for us. We want to select the application we need. And then now we have some options here. Uh, it's already going to come up enabled, which is good. Um, now you got to choose a logging channel. This is the channel where the applications will go once they're submitted. Okay, so for me, it's the applications channel. No, I'm sorry. We're gonna use the moderator channel. We can use it for your, whatever your channels are for your staff, admin, stuff like that. Okay, so it's gonna go to my moderator channel. This accepted message, this is what the people will see once they've submitted their application. Now what I like to do is change this accepted to received. Uh, I feel like it's saying it was accepted by a user can kind of be confusing. People might think that it means that their application was accepted or approved. Um, that's just letting them know that they received it. So I changed that to received. Uh, the confirmation message, pretty straightforward. I just leave it how it is. Uh, require roles. Um, if you have a user um, that needs a specific role to do an application, something like that, it gets kind of complicated. I feel like it's a little too much, so we're going to skip that. You can do that if you need to. Denied roles, same kind of idea. Uh, accepted removal roles. Um, these are the roles which will be removed once an application is accepted. Uh, it's great because you can really customize it, but I feel like it's a lot of steps that you don't necessarily have to have. Uh, if it fits for what you're doing, great. Uh, pending roles, so when the application goes into pending status, it can kind of put it in like a hold kind of a role. Um, these with the crowns are uh, upgraded features, so we'll skip those. Um, now, application name. This is already preset when we uh, created the application. Staff threads. Now, this one I enable because this one will make the organization of the applications a lot easier for you and your staff to go through. Uh, it'll organize them a lot better. So I turn that on. Uh, denial message, pretty straightforward. Just lets them know that they've been denied. Restricted roles. This will restrict certain roles from applying if that's something again that you want to do. Very simple. Just put the click in, put the role in there. Accepted roles. Uh, you can give somebody a role uh, upon acceptance. So if maybe they're going for an EMS role, you can automatically assign that role once the application is accepted. That's kind of cool. Um, keeps it easier on on the back end to, to manage. So you don't forget to give somebody a role. Ping roles. This will ping. Um, certain people if you want it to so you can do uh, whatever you want you know admins uh, discord manager certain business owners that need to know something like that then this one the denied removal roles this one goes back over here to the denied roles and all that a little too much for me um i think it's a lot of extra work so uh if you need it great if not we're gonna skip that this time um, again upgraded features down here are the questions you can see they already have pre-populated questions. I didn't put these questions on there. Do you like dogs? It also shows that you can do uh, multiple choice questions, which is kind of cool. So do you like cats, yes or no? We'll just add one more so you can see how it works. Uh, we're going to this application. 
do you currently own a business on the server? Okay. Then you do new multiple choice and you can say, do you have a criminal record? And then you can put a yes or no. Okay. Once you get all your questions in there, you're all set. Click save. <laughs> Easy. Right. Okay. Now the next step you want to take is you want to come back over to the application section under panels. Okay. New panel. I'm going to name it applications. Now, what you can do is you can do different panels for each application. If you want to me, I want it clean, simple one spot for every application. So we're going to do that. Okay. So now that's once that's created, we'll click on it. Same idea that the name of the panel. Now this is where you want the panel to go so that the people or players can access it. Right? So I want it to go to applications. Okay. Again, upgraded features, description, select an option below. That's good enough for me. Now you want to choose what applications you want in that, in that actual panel. So I want all of my applications. So I'm just going to select all of them. Okay. Again, you could do multiple channels. You can do EMS, PD, and have one application in each spread across multiple channels, LEO, stuff like that. If you choose. Okay. So now that that's done, we'll click save and it should be all set. So we're going to jump back to our discord and see what it looks like. So let's go. So you see it right here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to look here. Here's all our applications. We're going to go and do the business one we just created. In the left corner here, you see it pops up a DM. So it's letting us know. So click me to start. I want to apply or you don't want to apply. Maybe you change your mind. I want to. So we're going to go and click that. Okay. You have started the application process. Okay. Do you like dogs? And now you're going to answer the questions directly here in Discord. Now here's the multiple choice that they had on there. Do you like cats? Yes. Sure, I guess so. Do you currently own a business in the server? No. Okay. Do you have a criminal record? No. Okay. Once you've done that, you're all set. And if we go back to the, uh, the server, we should see here the submitted application inside of whatever channel you chose. So for me, it was that moderator only channel. So we'll look here, All right? Here's the application and we can either accept, deny, maybe see the application history, um, accept with a reason, deny with a reason. We can click on the thread, which will take us over here to the right, where we can go back and forth. Hey, looks good. All right. This will be for your staff. Um, then if you decide to accept, all right, we'll accept it. We'll give them a reason. Does this seem cool? Submit. Let it think. Okay. Once it's done, it'll DM the person that submitted and it will show them, Hey, you were uh, approved, got accepted because you seem cool. And uh, that's that. It's pretty much all set. So that there is the Appy Bot for Discord for all your application needs. Thanks for watching.